Welcome to Dirt, Sweat, and Gears, where the content writes itself. This is my 1999 Jeep Wrangler Sahara, and we get to play a little game. If you have an old car, you're very familiar with this game. And if you're an idiot like me who has six old cars, then you've played this game a thousand times. That game, of course, is called What the Hell is That Noise? So we are going to open up the hood on my Jeep Wrangler and find out. What the hell is that noise? So before I get into this, let's talk about what this stupid noise is. Something is going on inside the rotating assembly. This happens off and on. Sometimes it goes away for quite a while and I can just go back to pretending it never happened. Uh, if you own old cars, you know how that goes. Um, but uh, this is getting to a point where it's happening more and more frequently. Uh, I think it has a little bit to do with the cold. So let's talk a little bit about what it isn't. I'm fairly certain it is not the water pump, it is not the tensioner, and it is not the idler because I replaced all of those things when I replaced the water pump last year. Last year? I think it was last year. So that leaves it, unfortunately, to possibly very expensive things. It could be alternator, it could be power steering pump, it could be uh, air conditioning. So let's open up the hood, take the serpentine belt off, and uh, start spinning things. Before I remove the serpentine belt, let's take a look at this and form a hypothesis. The tension on the belt is okay. Uh, I think that's about where it should be. Um, and I'm gonna guess, I'm gonna make a prediction. I'm gonna guess it's probably not power steering because when I turn the wheels, it doesn't, the noise doesn't change. It doesn't make more or less. Uh, but we're gonna check the fluid anyway before I take this belt off. I highly doubt it's uh, the steering pump. It could be the uh, air conditioning because uh, the AC doesn't blow cold. I don't know if that's because uh, the AC system isn't charged correctly, either it has too much or too little pressure, uh, or if it's because the compressor is failing. Uh, that is certainly a possibility, um, and that'll be pretty easy to check. If, this, if I take this belt off and it makes noise when I spin it, it's probably a problem. Uh, lastly is going to be the alternator. Uh, if the alternator is bad, I, I just, I don't think... I don't think that the alternator is bad. Um, I suspect it's uh, air conditioning. Um, another reason why I think it's air conditioning is because when I turn it on, the idle doesn't change. Uh, so I think the clutch isn't engaging and that could be the culprit here. Uh, so if this is the problem, I'm just going to try to find a serpentine belt that bypasses it uh, over at uh, the local parts store and just bypass it for now because I need to discharge this system, uh, first of all, before I wanna fix it, but also uh, because I need to replace the heater core. Uh, the heater core, as you can see here, is completely bypassed um, because it's clogged up and it needs to be replaced. It's been like that for a while. Uh, I've just um, been putting it off. You know, just wear a jacket when I drive. However, if I need to replace the air conditioning compressor or do any kind of work to the AC system, uh, that's a really good time to get on that. Okay, after spending half an hour looking for a uh, 15 millimeter wrench, uh, I did not actually find my wrench. Uh, I found my socket though, and I was able to fit it on here to uh, release the tensioner pulley. Uh, so let's go through our uh, first suspects. We had power steering, and it's uh, it's not great, especially with this chip in it, uh, but it's also not bad. It still spins. The air conditioning, let's spin that. This actually spins pretty nicely. Uh, now let's check alternator. Um, um. It is, ooh, oh yeah, that is most definitely stuck. Oh, I can't even move it by hand. Okay, so it's the alternator. We need to replace the alternator. So this is going to be interesting. How the hell do you get to an alternator on the Jeep? Do you have to take out 
the air conditioning, that would really suck. Uh, I'm going to have to look at YouTube. Um, somebody, I'm sure, has done a technical how-to on replacing alternators. I'm going to check the YouTubes. I'm going to uh, source a new alt, and um, we will get to work. And hopefully I can get this thing back on the road this weekend because I need it. I need it to haul stuff for my house. I have a lot of house projects, and I need to get this thing back on the road so that I can haul materials. Okay, well, the how-to videos that I watched all talked about just navigating the alternator around the bracket to uh, remove the old one and put the new one in. I discovered that removing the bracket was my salvation. Getting the new alternator in was a lot more difficult because you had to, to get the old one out, you have to twist it and roll it and turn it in a very specific way that just wasn't, I couldn't remember when I was putting the new one in. Uh, but I discovered that by removing the bracket uh, was actually my salvation because I was able to move it around uh, enough to, uh, you know, if I needed to rotate it, if I needed to turn it, it was not a problem. Uh, so once I removed the bracket from the bottom, I went back up top and uh, just kind of laid on the fender uh, while I positioned the top bolt to uh, push through. I didn't need to worry about the nut because uh, the bolt just kind of hung right through all of the bolt holes. Got that hung, came back down here, threaded the nut, and I can tighten it from up top. Next, I'm actually going to reconnect the uh, harnesses, and then I will put the bracket on, and uh, then I can tighten it up on the bottom, and, and then I can put the serpentine belt back on. I got the new alternator in. Brackets on, everything's bolted down, tightened up. I got the tensioner tightened up. Uh, I might want to tighten it up just a little bit more, but it's okay, I think. Um, so far, so good. Let's start this up and give it a shot. This is actually probably pretty good for serpentine belt. Let's start this up and try. Not hit the Maverick. In neutral. I think that's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna call that good. All right, well, final thoughts. In general, working on a Jeep is very easy. Things are kind of big, things are kind of heavy, especially when you compare it to the likes of a Miata. However, uh, the Jeep is pretty much as basic as a Miata, uh, just a little bit bigger, a little bit heavier. Uh, this is not something I would enjoy doing on the side of the road, that's for sure. Is it possible? Yes. Would it be fun? Not at all. Uh, if this were to happen to me on the street, I would just get a tow. Um, but that's just me. And even when I was underneath it, I really wish I had a lift. Uh, that way I didn't have to work on the ground on my back. Uh, but that's what I've got to work with so far. And um, I was grateful that I didn't have to uh, put a jack under it. That's kind of cool. And really, this is why I like to have old cars because this was really simple to work on. You wouldn't you're, you're not going to replace an alternator on a brand new BMW or even a Honda in the amount of time that I was able to fix it on this, or even a new Jeep. Uh, this was very straightforward. Uh, and, you know, nobody wants old car problems, but old car solutions are generally a lot easier, a lot faster, and much, much, much cheaper than new car solutions because... Uh, solving problems on new cars, kind of a nightmare. I mean, really, find me a new car where you can replace an alternator, having never done it on that vehicle before, in an hour, with basic tools, on a weekend, for 150 bucks. 
find me a new car where that's possible. I don't think it's going to, I don't think it exists. I really don't think that exists. But anyway, uh, that was it. That's all I've got for this week. Um, uh, very simple repair on the Jeep. Uh, there's, uh, a lot going on. So, uh, stay tuned. I did this because I had to do it. Um, but we're going to get some different content coming up, uh, in the next few months. Still going to be mostly cars, but I'm going to throw in a couple of house things as well, just because, uh, this house stuff I got coming up is going to be all consuming and, uh, it'll actually be a lot of fun to take you on this journey. Thank you for watching.